I'm Jim Smith, USG Committees for Musman, and today's video is going to be about parliamentary points. The first one we need to go over is a point of order. A point of order comes about when a delegate feels that either the chair or another delegate has broken the rules of procedure. Um, as soon as the rule breaking has occurred, the uh, delegate will raise their placard and say point of order. Uh, the chair will recognize them immediately and the delegate will explain their issue. Um, if the chair feels that the point of order is correct, they will uh, thank the delegate and explain what needs to be fixed. And if they feel that it's not correct, they will explain to the delegate uh, the reasons why their point of order is not necessary. A point of inquiry can come in one of two forms. Uh, the first is a point of parliamentary inquiry or a point of inquiry to the chair. This is basically just um, asking questions about the rules or the uh, proceedings of committee, how committee is supposed to go. Um, the other form is a point of inquiry to a speaker. This is only in order when a speaker has yielded to questions and uh, delegates can ask them substantive questions about the content of their speech. Finally, a point of personal privilege is in order when a delegate uh, is inconvenienced by the proceedings of committee. Uh, it may be too hot or too cold, uh, they may need a window open because it's stuffy, or they may not be able to hear a speaker. Uh, this point can be used to interrupt speakers, but generally it is uh, advised that this is only used in cases where a delegate cannot hear a speaker. 